Kevin Kisner and Robert Streb go back to the tee at the 18th to play it for the second time as part of the sudden death playoff at the RSM Classic. There's that penalty area down the right side of the 18th fairway. And that's definitely in the player's mind. Same, same old rule, I would guess. Streb's got to feel like he's got new life. Great save, but uh, dodged it there. Yeah, he certainly did. And the tee shots today on the inward half for Robert Streb, where the miss is out to the right. Same order. the bunkers this time which is a very good break even though it's in the rough now he at least has an angle and he has a good shot that's a pretty good lie over there too I mean, he has a shot Kisner moving quickly off that right side a little bit and that will also be in the rough and doesn't look like a great lie and his angle is much worse than Streb. And that first playoff hole at right Kurt really unfortunate that this ball skipped forward and just ran through the fairway and into this deeper cut of rough and it is nestled way down there and on his angle he's going to have to deal with that bunker on the front right and there's a drain there. I don't know if his feet are going to be close enough to that to get relief. When I took a stance in there, it didn't appear so. Okay. Well, based on that and the lie that these two players have, I'm going to give the advantage to Strab right now on this second shot. I would have to do the same, Kurt, just because of the angle and a much better lie for Strab over on the left-hand side. And, and the number that I have, it looks like that Strab will definitely be playing first here. We'll check it out, though, here shortly. But I think definitely advantage Streb right now. Again, Kisner shooting 63 today to get to this playoff. Robert Streb, who led by three shots to begin the day, which was tied for the largest 54-hole lead in the history of this event. He was just... just uh, Streb is going to play first. Kevin Kisner is conferring with Mark Russell to find out if he does indeed get relief if his stance is going to be too close to that drain. They're just trying to determine who is away here. Mark Russell has pointed to Robert Streb and he will be next to play. Even though this ball sitting in the rough card, I, I think, you know, coming to the screen where that hole's position, he can land it actually on the putting surface from here and it's back uphill. Yep, it's going to land into that grain, which will help kill it. 158 yards. This is a pitching wedge. Boy, he went at it. A good looking line here. Wow. Oh, oh what, what a, a shot. shot. Oh. <laughs> that is some shot. It actually, I think it went over that left edge, kind of took a peek. 
What a time for that swing. Kisner going quickly. 154 to the hole. He's going to have to dig this out and hope it comes out well. It's actually on a good line if it's the right number. It even came out a little hot. That's going to run all the way to the bottom down there. And he will have to hole it from there if he wants to keep this going. What a time for that swing from Robert Streb. He's going to have a tap in birdie on the second playoff hole. Kisner is going to see that in a minute and know that he has to hole out from behind the green. Watch Streb shot again. the edge it sure did he'll remember that shot for a long time that was a centimeter from ending the playoff potentially some of the members tournament officials volunteers friends that have stayed to watch the playoff they got treated as they gather around the 18th here at the seaside course. And Kevin Kisner gets a good look at that and boy, he knows what he has to do now. It's all or nothing. Amazing, Kurt, how fast momentum changes. Yeah. The story of the playoff changes. First hole, Streb's in the bunker left. Kisner's creased it. We're thinking, in our heart of hearts, this thing's over. You know, and I think Kisner hit a good putt. He he just misread it a little bit, underread that first putt for to win it. Uh, so, but then Streb, when he gets up and makes that, probably an eight footer for par, that gave him new life. Get you know, he was encouraged again. Knew he had a chance, and uh, boy, did he take advantage of it. Streb's birdie putt is a formality, and Kisner knows it. This has to go in. He played that shot as if he knew it had to go in. And Kurt, I hope this doesn't seem like a silly question, but you have to finish out. I know, but yeah. but I do you. I don't know. I guess I guess you you have to make him putt it. I understand why you yeah, they have, have him putt first. Well, I was going to say, would Kisner have him uh, putt first? Have yeah. him tap it in. I understand they have to finish, but yeah. there's not a whole lot of meat left on that bone for no. a strip. No. So this is for a four, second half, second playoff hole. Four. That leaves this for Streb for the win. Robert Streb is the first two time champion of the RSM Classic. Beating Kevin Kisner in the second yeah. hole of the playoff. Great stuff, man. Thank Great you. Stuff. Thank Great you. Play. Thank you. Great play. Thank you. Great play.
And he adds to that list of players who have made the same event their first two wins on the PGA Tour. Most recently, Daniel Berger at the FedEx St. Jude. Now Robert Streb, two times a champion at the RSM Classic in a playoff over Kevin Kisner, who won here in 2015. Some drama down to the wire at St. Simons Island. Quickly, we'll take a look at the FedEx Cup standings. Robert Streb all the way up to eighth in this young season with the win. Top seven remains unchanged. Let's join Billy Ray Brown. All right, Wood, thanks a lot. Robert, incredible second shot there in the second playoff hole. Walk us through that shot. Uh, first off, I was happy I was not in that bunker again. Um, <laughs> just uh, it looked like it was going to jump a little bit. Tried to, you know, hit the pitching wedge, banking on it, and um, obviously came out perfect, landed soft. Um, it, you know, it was going to need a little fortune to get close, and um, I got it. It's been your, it's quite some time since you've been back in the winner's circle. How big is